today we are going to study an other type of the road failure known as a shoving of the asphalt surface. Now, I will not go in detail, just I will give you the brief introduction about this one for your fundamental uh, information about this shoving. Actually, shoving is related to the plastic movement of the asphalt surface. Plastic movement means that your bitumen surface is the combination of aggregate and the asphalt. When such type of some vehicle is being run, it is going to show the top surface going to show some type of the movement. When some type of the movement is observed, your surface will no more remain smooth like this one. You may see that at certain point, your surface will become like this one. So this type of the uh, shape produced in the surface at particular location, this is known as a bulging. When you will observe bulging on the asphalt surface, so, so this type of the movement in the asphalt surface is known as shoving. So, so you can say that shoving is related to bulging. as shown over here for your understanding. So this type of the bulging when you will see at certain particular location, so it means our road has gone to the one type of the failure known as the shoving. Now how it is being produced, you know, when the road is in the operation, when your vehicles are being accelerated or the brakes are being applied, so keep this in two condition, accelerating. slash braking braking action can produce bulging effect where it this effect will produce is very important so keep this in mind such type of the effect usually occur curved surface second you can say that at the intersection Third effect you can say that when your pavement surface meet rigid object let me explain to you what is the rigid object on the road you have the curb stone when you are going to accelerate your vehicles and there some type of the effect you are observing on this surface so it means this type of effect may be because this uh, try to move but there is some hard object on this surface so, so it cannot propagate further then it will show this type of the surface near to this uh, uh, rigid object because this uh, uh, your uh, curve stone is acting as a rigid object there you will find such type of the bulging on the surface so that's why i have written this word for your understanding now after writing where are these produced now let me explain it to you what are the causes of such type of the failure causes Why this happening? Very important. First question you comes in your mind, mind that it is a poor mixture. Very easy. Poor mix design. When the mix design is not proper as per the local requirement or as per some parameter set, then such type of the effect can be produced on the surface. So you can a poor mix design. Second, you can say that more amount of bitumen very important point more amount of the bitumen third weak subgrade
फोर्स इम प्रॉपर सबसाइल ट्रेनेज सिस्टम सबसाइल ड्रेनेज सिस्टम फिफ्थ ओवर वॉल्यूम ऑफ ट्रैफिक सिक्स यूज ऑफ मोर फाइन एग्रीगेट और स्मूथ एग्रीगेट so keep this in mind these are five or six reasons which you should always keep in mind regarding this type of the road failure to whom we say it is a showing so so this is very fundamental you can understand when the pitch line is not proper when the traffic is moving it can occur when the more amount of the bitumen it means the road is going to be more in the plastic form when it is a weak subgrade layer when the subgrade layer is not having the proper subsoil drainage system so then when every road is designed for certain amount of the traffic when some more amount of the, the traffic will pass for this road is not designed then this type of the showing effect can be produced so that's why as, as i have written poor mix design poor mix design not only related to the bitumen poor mix design can also be when you have used more amount of the fine aggregate or smooth aggregate that's why when any type of the mixed design is developed it is always given one condition that use the aggregate having the angularity having the fractured surface in order to make the proper locking so so this is the causes which i feel it's good for you for for you or for all the practicing engineers to understand that's why i have written these causes now after writing these causes next we will explain that how can we tackle this situation when we have this situation on site what will we do so so you can see the remedial action very easy about this remedial action first one you know your this type of the distress can be having mild nature or more severe nature so let us say if it is of the mild nature we can say that milling and overlaying milling and you will do the milling of certain surface and you will lay the again asphaltic surface so that this is the one type of the very easiest solution okay, that milling and overlaying second we can say that if this road is weak in the nature road is not properly rolled surface looks giving some type of the pumping effect there we can say that reconstruction of road structure where you will observe some type of the severe nature or some type of the pumping nature third one you know i have written in the reason that sub soil proper drainage system when there is more amount of the your water table is high and it is going to touch to your sub grade surface there you will have to understand that we will have to protect our sub grade from the moisture so moisture can be controlled by the use of sub soil drainage system so so you can see our third point use of sub soil proper drainage system fourth one development of proper mix design
Now, what do we mean by development of a proper, proper mix line? You know, you will have to understand the characteristics of the road for which we are going to design. You will have to understand the physical properties of the aggregate which should be used in the mix design. And then you will also have to make the proper amount of the bitumen for the development of the mix design. That's why I have development of the proper mix. It is going to cover many factors. And thank you very much for seeing this. And uh, whatever it comes in my mind, I have explained you briefly. Thank you for seeing my video.